Welcome to Envisioned Broadcasting Radio, your station for empowerment, music, and talk radio. EB Radio presents Empower Hour with Jerisha. show that shares the stories behind the journeys of leaders, influencers, and motivators. The Empower Hour with Jerisha begins now. Good evening, good evening, amazing people. Welcome back to Empower Hour with Jerisha. I am your host, Jerisha Moore-Smith. And it's another amazing Wednesday, y'all. And I'm so excited this evening because you are tuning into the show. And if this is your first time, I'm so excited that you took time to come in and listen to the Empower Hour with Jerisha show. I truly believe that you have the power to be great, have great, and do great. You just have to be willing to unleash your greatness and take action. So tonight, y'all, tonight we are really just going to dive right in to talking about our dreams. Now, because the fact that we are still in, you know, the first month, and I can't believe that we're getting ready to roll out of January already, just shows how time just flies by, right? So we are in the first month of the year And we're still excited. Most of us are still excited and really pumped up about our goals and our dreams. And I really hope that's you right now. Like you're still excited and working towards accomplishing your goals and dreams. And tonight we're going to talk about how for many of us, our dreams are waiting for us. So your dream is waiting for you. So my question is, so what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the right time, maybe the right person or the right team, the right job? You know, we have all of these things or excuses, if you will, that we put in place of why we can't be, do, and have the things that we want in life and why we can't really pursue our dreams. So this list can go on and on and on and on, right? But all this all this is really um, telling you is that it is, it's gonna, it's prolonging. It's prolonging. So you have to tell yourself um, through this process, if you find yourself saying, I'm waiting for this, I'm waiting for that, I'm waiting for whatever it may be, you fill in the blank. You're prolonging the process of your dream being fulfilled. So dreams are described as an inspiring picture of the future that energizes your mind, will, and emotions. And it's going to empower you to do everything. And I mean everything you can to achieve it. And let's just stop there. Now, I feel like many of us get stuck with the inspiring picture or the vision that we see of our dreams. So we have a hard time really seeing our dreams clearly because I believe that if you have a dream and can visualize it and see that inspiring and clear picture, okay, the very person and that being you are has no choice but to be energized. Okay, you have no choice when you can see your dream and know your dream and can see it very clearly and can visualize your dream. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what I know that it is going to energize you. Okay, it's going to energize you because you know what is to come and you know what's in your reach. It energizes your mind, will, and emotions. And anything that energizes your mind means that that you have already, so you already have that, that mindset that is ready and willing to do what it takes to make your dream a reality. See, it's those three 
components, your mind, your willingness, and your emotions. And today, I feel like we may need to do a dream check because not only have some of us not um, been able to see or visualize our dreams clearly, but our mindset is not set up or prepared to handle the dream. And, and so before, you know, before you will be willing to, to work on your dream, you have to get your mind and your emotions in check. So what is that narrative that you're, you're telling yourself about your dream? I believe that everyone, including you right now who is listening, has a dream. Now, whether or not you have forgotten, uh, whether you have forgotten what, you know, what that dream looks like because time has passed and maybe it was a dream that you had when you were younger, you, you, whatever that looks like, it's still your dream, okay? Or maybe you you have brushed off your dream, like, you know what, it's not possible because of X, Y, Z. And so I ask you to ask yourself, if it's not your lack of belief in the actual uh, final result or the success that the dream will bring, but it, the lack of belief, is it a lack of belief in, in the one who has the dream? Or maybe it's still, you know, you're in a place where you're trying to identify what your dream looks like. Now, we know there are, so, there are many reasons, okay? There are so many reasons why people are, are not dream chasers, uh, dream pursuers, dream followers, and um, for some of us, okay, some of us have decided to disable our dreams or we've turned it to inactive because we're not actively pursuing our dreams. And so when we think about inactive, inactive is not engaging in or involving any or much physical activity. So right now you are idle. Your dream is idle. It can be looked at as um, sluggish or, or unenergetic, not working. It's inoperative. It's non-functioning. It's turned off or dormant. Inoperative, like I said, idle, inactive. And if you need something, if you need more words to to really understand the fact that you may be in a place where you're not actively working on your dream, maybe your dream is out of service right now, not in use, unoccupied, out of use. Now, this makes me think about uh, social media and how, depending on the platform, if you make a decision and, you know, some of us have made that decision for whatever reason to be inactive, maybe for, you know, so many days or even a long extended time, um, a period of time on social media. And so when we think about social media and activity or inactive, it means that we, we you know, no one has a post that they've put on any of the platforms in over 30 days, or you have some platforms that, that would deem inactivity to mean that there haven't been any posts in like the past 48 hours. So on some platforms, if you do not have activity within 48 hours, you are considered inactive. Now, I guess the good thing could be Depending on what your platform is utilized for, so if it's business, that's a whole nother, a whole nother story. But from a personal level, it may not have the repercussions like how from a business standpoint. And so, from a business standpoint, if you don't post and um, you have a business, there is the possibility that you run the risk of losing followers, credibility, even that brand awareness by going so many days without posting. So let's look at this when it comes to our dreams, okay? And the dreams that we have and the possibility that right now you may be inactive with your dream. So my question is, are you inactive when it comes to your dreams? 
Are you present in your dream? Meaning, are you working on it daily? Or have you become inactive? Because the last time you can remember working on your dream was over 30 days ago. And as a result, ask yourself, what have you lost? Now, time is one thing that comes to mind. But what haven't you gained as a result of your inactivity? What haven't you gained as a result of your inactivity? Now, for some of us, we may find ourselves in the state of, you know, we feel discouraged um, from dreaming by others because you know how that can be if you have somebody in your circle, family, friends, Um, whoever may be on your team, and how we can feel discouraged by others. And that's why we're not pursuing our dreams and why we're inactive. And some of us, some of us may, may feel, you know, may be hindered by, um, by past disappointments and, and, you know, often hurts that stops us from really either identifying our dream or even in being in pursuit of our dreams. And then you have then you have some who who get in the habit of settling for for average noun settling for average. Is that you? Do you feel like you have said, you know what? I am comfortable. I had this big dream when I was in my twenties to start my own business to to um, whatever it may be to you know, start a, a car detail, a uh, shop to, to start a podcast, to, to launch my own planner, whatever that dream may be for your life. Did you have a dream? And then you just decided along the way that I am okay right now. Okay. Is not great. Okay. Okay. I am okay right now. Even though I had big dreams, here's the thing. You're never too old to dream. Just because you had a dream in your 20s and you may be in your 40s, that does not mean that you cannot pick that dream up and say, you know what? I have been inactive the last 20 years, but today, today, I'm going to make a decision to to start working on my dream so that I am not inactive. But again, some of us have have really developed the habit of settling for average. And then you have some people that lack the confidence needed to pursue their dreams. Now, I, I know with that confidence thing, I feel like we all go through those those times within our lives where, you know, you may lack the confidence because of the fact that you don't feel like you have the knowledge or don't know everything there is to know. But hear me and hear me good that we are in a world where information and knowledge is at our fingertips. So with that being said, there is no excuse for your inactivity when it comes down to your dreams. And then we have some of us who who are just frustrated, right? Some of us are just in this state of frustration because we have dreams that we want to work on. And for whatever reason, we're frustrated. You know, it's about 95%, okay? 95% of us are frustrated in the pursuit of our dreams. And rightfully so, because when you are pursuing your dreams, it's not an easy task, okay? It is hard work. I don't know anyone that has that has pursued their dream and is living in their dream that has said, you know what? It was easy on the way to the top because it's never easy. It is never easy. But I ask you, if you are feeling frustrated, so if you're in that 95%, what is it that is frustrating you about your pursuit of your dream? You know, I always talk about on this show how we, how we need to think on paper And so I will continue saying, we need to always think on paper. So if you're frustrated, write it down, write it down. And, you know, the primary reason then, the primary reason that, that people, um, that people fail to reach their dream is, 
they don't have enough valid reasons for it. Now, this to me is, you know, it probably it could hit home with you. I can tell you there, um, there have been so many people that I have been able to work with as far as clients where I am able to ask them, you know, some really key questions. And I'm going to share these key questions with you tonight because I really feel like, again, as we are in pursuit of living in our greatness, pursuit of our dreams, it is so important for us to ask ourselves those important questions that's going to get us thinking on paper. And so I would honestly recommend that you look at these questions, write the questions down, and then begin to unpack your answers for these questions. So if you feel like you have failed to reach your dream, um, ask yourself these key questions. What are your reasons, your reasons for achieving your dream? What are the reasons for achieving your dream? And how does your dream excite you? Now, I shared early on that when you have a dream, it will absolutely excite you, empower you to do everything that you have to do in order to make your dream a reality. But really get the clear, uh, get clarity on that answer, I mean, on that question for yourself in answering that question. How does your dream excite you? And what evidence supports this? And then look at it in the past month. How has your dream taken you out of your comfort zone? Because I'll tell you, with any dream, if it's not taking you out of your comfort zone, you absolutely need to dream bigger. Dream bigger. Your dream will always push you out of your comfort zone. And I really think oftentimes that's why we choose to, to go into this inactive, this inactive state. And then one of the last questions is what makes you believe that you were made to bring your dream to life? Now that's a really powerful question because at the end of the day, your dream is waiting for you. Now, whether you choose to believe that or not, that is absolutely your choice. But what I know is that when you are in pursuit of your dreams, you do stuff differently. You're not inactive. You're present. You're active. You are walking around with a sign that shows through your mindset, your will, and your emotions that your dream is in use. You know what you want and you are doing what you need to do to get it. You see, I believe that your dream was given to you by God. But what I also know is that God won't give you the dream and not equip you for the pursuit. Today is your chance to stop being inactive with your dream and make a decision today to, to do whatever you need to do to make your dream a reality. We all have heard the quote that says, dreams don't work unless you do something, <laughs> unless you do something, okay? And that is what you need to tell yourself every single day because success occurs when your dream gets bigger than your excuses. And in order for your dream to get bigger than your excuses, you have to step out of that inactivity and step into being active in your dream. Now, we know that every dream comes with much work, but to much is given, much is required. You have a dream that God gave you. So that is a, there is a requirement. You have to make sacrifices. You have to sacrifice time, effort, money, and so much more. And often it's those sacrifices that we decide, it's through those sacrifices that we decide to become inactive. But I dare tell you that today is your day. You have to say, I am no longer going to make excuses or hide behind whatever has been holding me back because my dream is waiting for me. My dream is waiting for me to put in the work. My dream is waiting for me to show up and do my part. 
Your dream is waiting for you. So how long are you going to drag your feet? I dare ask you, what are you waiting for? Now, I thank you all so much for tuning in to Empower Hour with Jerisha show this evening. Please join me next week on EB Radio at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for another episode of Empower Hour with Jerisha. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you for listening to the Empower Hour with Jerisha, where Jerisha speaks with leaders, influencers, and motivators who share their journey in personal and professional growth. Empowerment tips, lessons learned, and keys of success that will empower you to your best self. Follow Jerisha on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Jerisha Moore and visit www dot empower on purpose dot com remember to be intentional and be empowered and have a great day on purpose